Hello dear students, welcome in this online session of 8th standard. I hope you are doing well at your home. So today I am here with you to show you some kinds of detailed theory related to your lesson and also I am going to take this lesson carry forward and today we will be understanding about some kinds of theories and relativity with the life and the emotions also. So this lesson of 8th standard English medium will be teaching you also some kinds of concept in which either you can go for the hard work or you can wait for the good luck. So this is all the lesson all about. Now let's see the lesson. This lesson will show you all the detailed theory which I am making you to understand and see over your screen. Now the first lesson or the first glance of this lesson is actually looking like a mountain. The mountain consists of a human face as well as the lesson's name is the great stone face one. This is ninth number chapter of 8th standard class English medium NCERT syllabus. Now what kind of lesson is this? So <coughs> see. Before you read, seen from a distance, you need to understand the hilltop and the huge rock seems to assume a various shapes, various shapes containing human face, maybe rock face or apart from that. So they may resemble an animal or a human figure, sometimes the actually a figure related to a relative person. Okay, So people attribute these theories according to their imaginations that this theory story coming true in the shape of a human being okay but how it is going to be true let's check it out but before we go this line also says that okay, some stories come true other don't the great stone face is one of such stories shut shape of the reminders in the inhabitant of a valley of a prophecy that is what a like a what a kind of prophecy is that lesson showing out here so will it come true or will it not now the meaning of prophecy means some kinds of sayings which is already said and will be done maybe in the future so one afternoon when the sun was going down the mother and her little boy sat at the door to their cottage now they might be having a cottage they sat there talking about the great stone face now you must be pondering that what is great stone face let me define you Near the village, there was a huge mountain consisting of other fold mountains. It means the group of the mountains. So among them, the, one of the biggest mountain consisting the geometrical shape which was looking like a human face, far from a distance. Somebody says that okay, when you look in a different angle, it will look like the animal face. Some say it's a human face. But when you go near, you'll find nothing there. So the face disappears. What is the story behind this mystery? So, we need to understand today. Now, the boy sat with the cottage door talking about the great stone face. They had only to lift their eyes and there was it. It means the plain to be seen through the miles away within the sunshine bright and all the features. So, the boy was thinking that what is stone face? What kind of face is this? Okay. So, the next place is that, okay, and what is the great stone face? The question comes, the great stone face was nothing but the work of the nature formed on the perpendicular to the side of mountain by increasing the rock that was seems to look like a face of a human being. So, you can read also my dear student and you can also get theory to be cleared out because I am making you to go with this virtual lecture and also I am showing you the screen which is exactly repre representing your textbook so now together when it viewed from the proper distance they resembles the features of a human face and in the spectators approach too near if the watching people go near the human face is disappearing means it is lost in outline enormous face could see only a heap of gigantic rocks it means when you go near you'll find only the rock nothing the face but a far away distance it looks like a face so the clouds clustering about it the great stone face seems positive to be alive but the cloud were making sound, touching its, uh, uh, we can say like peak and Sumit at the time the stone face was looking live. So it was the belief of many people that the valley out must be, it must be owning that kind of a fertility which begins to the face that was continually beaming over it. It means that they were thinking that a man must be living same as like the stone face and he might have carved the stone also. So he will one day come back. A mother and her little boy, as we said earlier, sat at the door at the cottage gazing the stone, gazing the great stone face. The child's name was Ernest. Mother said, 
he mother said that mother said he was the great stone fish smiled upon him i guess that i could speak for it looks very kindly to a man and the voice must be indeed pleasant if i ever see a man with such face i should love him very much the mother was actually thinking emotionally like if i see this kinds of man i would really like um, attached with her and same as the boy also said that to the mother that he said while the great stone face was smiling upon him he whenever he was looking to the stone the boy earnest his name was earnest whenever he was looking towards the stone and the face he was thinking he was he was thinking that he was actually attached with that can you imagine he was attached with that he was thinking that the stone face is smiling upon his face and that's how he was saying that a mother said he while the great stone face smiled i wish that i could speak it could speak the stone face could speak and it looks so very kind that it voice must be indeed pleasant such a beautiful thing is that if the stone face could have spoken something to me i would really love this man very much so that is the relation between boy and the stone face if an old prophecy should come to pass answer his mother we may see a man sometime with exactly such a face that the stone face is having now there's a question what kind of prophecy kaisi bhavishyavani what kind of prophecy what prophecy do you mean ma mother the mother said ha sahi hai agar bhavishyavani sahi hoti hai to ek din hum aise insaan se zarur milenge jo exactly iske jaisa dikhta ho to wahan pe whole of the in the village there was a kind of a prophecy now what prophecy do you mean dear mother eagerly inquired ernest please tell me also mujhe bhi bataiye so the mother told him a story that her own mother told to her this is the story which is going from hereditary to the hereditary from one age to the another age now see the boy and the mother is sitting you can see the figure out on your screen it is showing like exactly from your textbook matching exactly from your textbook now the mother is telling the story okay now let's focus to the story so the story which has already been told by her mother to the mother means grandma said to her mother and now she is going to tell to the honest to the boy which was a younger than so little honest that was some future day child should be born see when he, uh, the mother said to her mother she said that you could tell the story when your child is born so the younger than little ernest that at some future day a child should be born she is telling that and near her who was destined to become the greatest and noblest person of his time whose face in the manhood should be bear an exact resemblance of the great stone face it means in future a man will come with the same face who will spread everywhere the happiness who will remove all the poverty who will be like a for her means a savior of everybody so his face will be looking same as same as to the stone face so that's how many still had faith in the old prophecy but other look it to be nothing but the ideal talk at all even the great man of the prophecy had not yet appeared oh mother cried ernest clapping with his hand and above his head i do hope that i shall live to see him his mother was an affectionate and thoughtful woman so it was proper she thought not to discourage and fanciful hopes of her little boy so she said to him perhaps you may it means that when stone face or the mother is telling that you one day the man of the stone face same look like face will be coming he will remove all the kinds of problem for life he is going to spread everywhere the happiness he'll bring lots of money after listening best she also said that ke okay, but some people says that it's just a talk ye bas buri baatein hain aisa koi hota nahi hai some said ki nahi stone face will come so after listening this boy also jumped with jumping means he's just clapping with his hands and he's telling that oh mother thank you very much to tell me this story ab to mujhe bhi lagta hai that stone face will come bas main uske aane tak zinda rahu it means i hope that he would come before i die and mother mother was also thinking that it's a kind of a talk ye bas ek baatein hain lekin shayad bachche ka dil nahi todna chahiye we should never break the heart of a small boy so she also said that perhaps you may ha kyun nahi aap zarur dekhoge use so this is the condition the story is going more further and the earnest never forget the story that his mother told him it was always in his mind whenever wherever he looked upon the great stone face he spent his childhood in long cottage where he was born and he did full 
to his mother and also helpful to her in many things assisting her much in his with his little hands and more than a loving heart in this matter from a happy yet to the pensive child he just grew up with the middle and the quiet youth also it means now he was actually growing slowly slowly he was helping also to the mother years and years passed time also passed now ernest was actually uh, becoming younger he was becoming like a youth so the time passed and every time he looked to the stone now he was not going to school okay he was learning by his mother only so ernest had no teacher but the great stone face become one of his teacher how the stone face will become a teacher a movement without a mountain a mountain with no movement no movement can become a teacher how it is possible let's see so ernest had no teachers but the great stone face only became his own teacher now when the work of the day was over he would gaze at his face means the boys would sit at his cottage door and he would look to the stone face always he was looking so whenever the work of the day was over he gazed it for the hours until he began to imagine that those was feature recognized him and gave him a smile to the kindness and encouragement also so he said that ki this is actually the stone which is giving me encouragement so from today you are my teacher as the boy was not going to the school so about this time there went a rumor also through the valley that the great man who was to bear the resemblance of the great stone face had appeared in the last somebody said at the time or a stone face aa gaya hai stone face aa gaya and the boy was also shocked out really everybody said yeah uski tarah hi dikhta hai wo so it seems that many years before young man had left the valley bahut pehle yahan se koi ja chuka tha so that is the stone face now when the boy is going see here generally it was a condition he had set up as a shopkeeper and begin shop in the business matter so had become so very rich that he would have taken him 100 years only to count with his wealth somebody also said that ki maybe he has become a very rich person lagbhag 100 saal tak wo paise ke andar itna paisa uske paas so in the time of thought native valley and decided to go back there and end his days to koi bolta hai ki wo shayad yahan pe aake apna last days he he needs to end his last days Ernest had been Ernest had been deeply stirred by the idea that the great man the noble man the man of prophecy after many ages of delay was length of senior his sight to the native valley lagbhag uske nazar ke aas paas hi tha while the boy was sitting and gazing upon the valley on one day imagining that great stone face could written gazing with the noise of the wheels which was heard also crowd of the people cried and here comes the great stone man there is a gather gold now what is happening at the time when the boy was looking towards the stone face means to looking towards the mountain the wheel cart you know the wheel cart means uh, it's like like a horse cart came the sound came of somebody coming and stopping there the people gathered or kisne chillaya bheed mein se here is the stone face mr gather gold a carriage drawn by four horses lagbhag like, char ghodon se ek rath khincha ja raha tha dashed round the turn of the road lagbhag road ke side mein khade rahi wo okay vehicle within the third party of the window opening the window okay appeared the face of an old man with a yellowish skin he was a fair man the very image of the great stone face shouted the people kisi ne bola are ye to same dikhta hai sure enough the old prophecy is true here we have the great man at last somebody says that ki ha bhavishwani sahi hui He is here in the last. देखो देखो ये है स्टोन फेस एंड वॉट ग्रेटली पजल्ड ऑनेस्ट वेन ऑनेस्ट इज लुकिंग टूवर्ड्स हिम सिंग रियली दिस इन एक्चुअली टू बिलीव दैट देर वॉज अ लाइकलेस विच दे स्पोक ऑफ ही टर्न अवे सैडली एंड ब्रिंकल सेडेड अपॉन हिज अनप्लेजेंट फेस गेस्ड अपॉन द वैली वेर द स्टोन फेस सीम्स टू बी से ही विल कम फॉर नियर ही विल कम डोंट फियर सो ऑनेस्ट मैन विल कम this man who was whose name was gather gold was not a stone face according to the boy yani ki sabne dekha usse sabne kaha ye to stone face jaisa hi dikhta hai but when the boy found boy ko wo stone face jaisa nahi dikhta hai and he's thinking nahi nahi ye wo nahi ho sakta hai again he's going back he's looking towards the stone so their idea was like a folly ha huh. but we can say neighborly the idea did not work and the boy was feeling sad he came back to his home so the great stone face had become a teacher to him and would that sentiment would attached expressing into the enlarging young man's heart that one day he will come 
so filling with a deeper sympathetic and the hurt was filled they did not know that from this wood came to a better wisdom and that could be learned from the books only so they were not knowing that the best example can be written from the book also we are not able to get from the human beings and neither did ernest know that thoughts which came upon him why he was thinking why he was missing stone face why he was waiting for him there was also a question which was also the boy not knowing now see naturally in the field at the fire shed fire shed where the higher tone sound was coming he found something and same as mother also told him the story mother told him the story that stone face will come one day don't you worry about that somebody in the valley must be looking like stone face and he was only he may be only the stone face so by this time poor mr gathergold was deed and buried also his wealth so that was a condition with the body and the spirit his existence mother says that okay, that the old man whose name was gather guild gather gold may be died and buried with his body and with his all the kind of wealth and also don't you worry about that nobody will come and take our problems and if the stone phase is coming then it may be a possibilities here so his wealth which was actually the body and the spirit his existence has disappeared before his death since the melting away of his gold it had been generally agreed that there was no great likeness no all between them which was ruined merchants and the majestic face upon the mountains also so she says in that case it's a kind of a mystery dying of gather gold the melting of the gold and all basically now it so happened to the another son of the valley that had become soldier many years ago before and after great deal of the hard fighting he was now a famous commander so he was also known on the battlefield by the name of blood and thunder so she is also telling the stories now mother is trying to make boy comfortable by telling the stories so she also told the story of blood and thunder the two boys who were the warriors old and tired now and he had also literally expressed desires to return to his native valley so the inhabitants old neighbors their ground children and all they prepared to welcome the renowned commander and it was also being said that at the last he appeared now great there was an excitement see what is happening when the gather gold is after that you can say uh, the two boys the soldiers are coming back after passing their ages and ages throughout the valley many people who never once thought to glance at the great stone face now spent much time in gazing it so for sake of knowing exactly how general blood and thunder look alike so mother is telling that okay, maybe this is kind of a work related to the another person so on the day the generals arrived who is arriving now gather the generals are arriving now blood and thunder so now their work was very great in the valley whole of the valley okay and they proceeded to spot where the gap where the great banquet had been prepared soldier stood out with the guard flags waved and crowded road ernest was standing too far means there was a kind of a there was a kind of a rally going of the soldiers they were making some kind of march sound and all so far back to see blood and thunder face however he could never he could hear only the voice he was unable to see the blood and thunder the two faces of the commander now it's the same face exactly cried one man dancing from the joy somebody said that hey this man is looking like stone face again somebody said that and again we can see the boy was trying to look that man wonderful like that somebody said that yeah yeah wonderful like it's it's a, it's a fact replied another and why not cried the third one he is the greatest man of this era of this age beyond no doubt ernest at large could see the general's face when mother said the story about the blood and the thunder the two commander boys and all and there a past rally also of that same so everybody said that ki one of them is looking like stone face same as the boy also tried to see that ha huh, but he was unable to see because they became old also and they were in the crowd in the last somebody said that ki yeah yeah they are looking same same look like that and all ernest last could see the general's face and in the same glance to the side he could see to the great stone face in the same glance mean the same expression he was looking towards the face if there was such a likeness in the crowd police claimed Ernest could not recognize it. Okay, so somehow the police also claimed that you know, you are unable to find out the man. Fear not, Ernest said the hurt, as said the hurt, as if the great stone face was whispering to him. Fear not, Ernest, he will come. So he was looking there, and again the man was not looking like stone face. So again he was trying to find his man, find his person. So the heart was telling from internally, fear not, my dear, fear not. 
one day you will see the stone face one day he will come so this story is actually making you to understand about the hope and a weight of a boy whose name is honest and who is actually trying to see every man or the man which are crowded by the village crowd and all and that shouting that he is stone face he is stone face but actually according to the boy and the lesson the any of the person till now were not actually the real person who is relating with the stone face neither their faces were also matching ha huh, just there was a rumor the stone face will come stone face will come so my dear student this lesson is consisting two parts of the story will be taking another part in some another lecture i hope till here the lecture was interesting and also making you understand now if you are living inside the area where mountains are available try to find out a stone face nearby you take care jai hind and keep revising keep going on in your studies thank you